Okay, this tree is the dogwood tree that we have here in Southwest Virginia. Today is April the 6th, it's Good Friday, and this tree is in full bloom. I'll get closer so you can see the blossoms. Um, they're in the shape of a cross, as you can tell. The sun's shining on them, so this is a little bright. I'll turn it around, it has two short petals and two long petals. And um, many Christians consider this uh, flower to represent the cross that Jesus died on with the uh, darkened tips on it to be the blood stains and the center to be the crown of thorns. Um, this is a legend that is unique here to North America. I don't think it's true because this particular tree does not grow in the Middle East. So um, it couldn't possibly be used as the wood for the cross. However, I think it is a lovely legend, and every spring when this tree blooms, it does remind me of the crucifixion. Um, also, it's been quite warm here over the past couple of weeks. There's another colloquialism, or um, I guess you would say saying, that when the dogwood blooms, it does get very cold, and last night it was freezing. And I grew up on a farm here in southwest Virginia, and my grandfather would not plant his crops. Um, here comes a loud truck. My grandfather would not plant his crops until dogwood winter had passed because it does, oddly, strangely enough, get cold when the dogwoods start to blossom. And this is a gorgeous tree. This is our neighbor's tree. We have one in our side yard of our house and it's very spindly and it's not as beautiful as this tree. This is a gorgeous dogwood tree.